do you guys use Link Whisper? I think it's Link Whisperer. If so, does it slow the website down a lot? Actually, I do not use Link Whisperer, but I've definitely heard of it. And I think what it yeah, is same. is a uh, interlinking tool. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'll go ahead and pull this up. Let's go ahead and just take a quick look at it real quick. And yeah, this isn't, you know, like I just said, uh, it's not something we use, uh, but we can talk about it. And, you know, I, I actually have seen, um, I've seen it around, I've seen the name mentioned around quite a bit, so I know people are mentioning it. I don't know if it slows down uh, your website. Um, but yeah, basically what it's doing is it's suggesting uh, ways to do internal links, right? Uh, it's finding content that it thinks are uh, related and it's it's linking to, to them. Um, <clears throat> I don't see myself using this anytime soon. And the reason is because for stuff like the what, what I consider very important on-page things, which is stuff like, uh, you know, setting your title tag, setting your uh, URL slug, setting your, you know, your H1s, your H tags, uh, set, doing your meta description and, and, and adding your internal links. I consider these things uh, very important and something that I would not leave to automation. I would much rather do it myself and do it exactly how I want to do it than let something that doesn't know SEO as well as me try to do it automatically. Um, that's just kind of where I stand on it, but I know people do use it. Uh, it's just, I'm not, I'm not there yet. And, um, but you know, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, what, what do you think, Nick? I mean, I don't see myself using it um, just based on like even in automation for me, uh, it's typically geared towards human capital because you've got um, a better ability to kind of control, um, you know, the variables that you're kind of playing with and internal linking. Uh, I just don't see myself like I don't I, I don't see that being something that I would um, shoot off to um, something like that. And let me let, uh, it just doesn't yeah. so let me just show you something as well so for example you know but maybe if you're like generating massive amounts of like auto generated content or ai content and it's like working out and you kind of find a stride within that niche which i don't do um then maybe i could see big purpose for a tool like this but you know uh like Chris said, neither of us have used it, so we're kind of just shooting in the dark here based on what we do do, right? Um, but at the, but, at the uh, same time, yeah. I, I will say a little something more on this. Um, you know, I just don't see, um, I, I just don't understand why you'd want to lose control and also and you have to pay for it, where you can, you can do it yeah. very easily yeah. yourself, like very easily. Like it take a couple seconds and um, you can do it better. So what I did here is I just typed in site colon. So I'm searching, um, you know, Sir Links a lot. We're searching our website only, Sir Links a lot .co, And then I just typed in guest posts after that. So I'm searching our site for guest posts and Google is showing us the content on our website that it thinks is most relevant to guest posts. And so, you know, if I had just written a new article on guest posts, and I, for some reason, I didn't know the site very well, and I was really having a hard time. I didn't know what to interlink to. You could just do this. You can just see what Google thinks are things that are related to it. And you could just go and you could pick, you look through right here and just see, should I link to this one? Should I link to this one? Should I link to this one? You know, and there are all just things that are very related to guest posts as far as what Google feels about them. Um, Looking at, I mean, like just running through it real quick. Um, I can see how somebody a little bit newer to SEO might feel comfortable using something like this. Like it does, you know, if you're limited on the amount of tools you have, or like maybe you don't really know how to do um, keyword research too well or something, maybe this would, yeah. um, okay. you know, help out there. That's fair um, enough. You know, there, there are some tools that we would never use that for a, ver a person who is really kind of in over their head and... The, you know, they're yeah. not quite at the point of understanding everything correctly, then it might be good for them. Um, but, you know, at apparently the same it does time, nice reports too, I, like orphaned posts, broken links, 404 errors, internal links, links found, post crawled. Um, so you I can just got like some stream. Well. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just a different tool. But then, you know, it's a, it's a tool that you don't have to pay for on every single website you work on, right? This one, you're-, you're Oh, this one you do? Yeah, you're on this, you're paying, mm -hmm. it looks like you're paying on uh, per website license, basically. Oh, um, you know, yeah, it, gets, it gets cheaper as you do more. So you could buy like a little bulk thing and the price goes way down. Um, but yeah, if you're very new, if you're very new, you're not going to be working on 10 sites, first of all. Um, you know, you're going to be $77 a site. I mean, oh, so I don't know. I don't, I don't want to bash on Link Whisper too much. I just, Me either. it's just not something that I, that I plan on using anytime soon. And, um, Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking!